All right. Okay, so we're trying something new today. So we're kind of taking a little bit of a chance here. The I pre-prepared this canvas because I'm getting ready to experiment with some stuff. So today I do know what I'm going to be painting. I'm going to be no, I don't. I know what I'm going to be trying to paint. We'll see how it works. Um, so let me tell you what I've got here. I've got a black canvas, of course, on the palette. I've got. Um, you know, I'll point to the paints here in a second. Let me get the lid back on this one. All right. I need more of that before I'm done. I've got titanium white. Uh, those are crimson. Uh, thalo blue and Prussian blue. So now on the canvas we got a light coat of clear medium. Then we put some of each of those colors on here. In some cases we've we've merged them a little bit. And then we wipe the whole canvas back. So <clears throat> I'm not sure how that's going to respond. I hope it's going to respond really good. Um, but what I want to do is I want to create like so I've got like red around the edges with a little bit of blue mixed around so give us a little bit of uh, a lavender color. We may put some dioxazine purple up on here in a minute if that doesn't come out right. <clears throat> then we've got the lizard and crimson down around this way and then all blue, phthalo blue in the middle. And it, the plan is to paint all the background which is kind of a fuzzy multicolored cloud kind of a deal in the background. and then paint some distant trees that are going to be kind of layered into that background and then coming closer we'll paint some some uh, darker trees black trees bigger trees but we're going to do a lot of branch work up here at the top so we'll probably turn it upside down and paint that way but anyway let's see how this goes which you came out pretty pretty interesting so let's see let me get a kevin hill brush here i'm going to use i'm going to drop a brush right up the bat get that out of the way so then I don't have to worry about dropping the rest of the day. Well, I probably will. All right, so uh, let's see. I could use that one. These are brand new. Uh, but I also, I, I warmed the canvas up with this one, so I think I'll just use this one. So we're going to start off with just titanium white. Just titanium white. All right, and I've got a little color chart here that I laid out. Hopefully this will tell me where I want to go. All right, so let's kind of start right about here. I'm just lightly touching this canvas. There's going to be a pathway right along in here, so let's just kind of go ahead and start kind of laying that out. And then I want to kind of curve over this way. That's good. We'll blend all this. So we'll take all these brush strokes and stuff out as we go. So we're kind of painting out in the oval. I'm kind of running out of paint. So I'm just going to clean this brush. I'm going to clean the brush because I don't think it's going to get, I don't think wiping it off is going to give me the effect that I'm looking for. Because I want a lot of the blue stay in there, but I want to have a bunch of highlighted areas with white. So I have a couple of central points that I can pull this white back to. All right, so we loaded the brush pretty good here. I'm going to back to the center. By the time we're done, this part here is going to be like super white. There we go. All Some of that lavender coming in. Yeah, that's looking nice. All right, so you're going to see a lot of cleaning the brush on this episode, I reckon. And I'm wiping on a shop towel rather than a paper towel. I don't think I have near enough titanium white on my palette, but let's see. 
I'm going to have a bright spot I'm not done with this part so let's just let's just stay here for now I'll just keep working this out and I'll keep raising the value of this paint until I get it to where I want it to be all right let's clean the brush let's clean it before we thump it The whole black canvas will be covered before we're done. There'll be a couple of dark spots. Here we go, but like right in this corner right here. You leave that dark. Alright, let's clean the brush. Now you can see this brush that it's there's no paint left in it when I get done so but we also gotta make sure we get it nice and dry it's gonna give us problems all right uh, so let's kind of let's go let's kind of work up toward that corner so let's go here crimson there so we kind of add a little bit more of this in here use up what I got in my brush here and like I say we're gonna blend all this so I'm not too not too concerned about it right now Add some lavender to this in a minute. So now here we're gonna have like a little break in the sky. So this will all kind of look cloudy when it's all done. So. I do want some of these white spots to show up, so I'm not these lighter spots like that. Okay, now. 
I'm going to add a little more brightness in a couple spots now. I want to get this background just right before I do anything else. But, so we're going to start right here in this. I'm going to spread some of that paint out. Off. I'm trying to not pull too much of this blue in, but there we go. Right. Let's clean the brush. I'm just kind of blending to where I want to get my areas to come together. And then part of this is knowing what colors are the most powerful. We've got halo blue on here is the most powerful of all of them. So you can use it to push the other colors around a little bit. But um, you don't want to don't want to get the whole thing wiped out. Add a little blue here. Back in. Get the darkness path up a little bit. dropped a little bit of cat orange into that. Alright, now up here I want this to be more narrow. Let's clean the brush. Now, you could do this in acrylics and and you could probably blend it just as just as well. But, um, or you can paint this in oils and then just let it sit for a couple of days until it, till it firm till it tacks up. You can either wait till it tacks up or you can wait till it till it's done. Now I'm not gonna wait too long on this. A little bit of red here. I'm gonna darken this side. Corner. 
and also kind of put some darkness on that path. All right. Okay, now I don't think we're going to mess with that anymore until we do the trees. <clears throat> so, okay, so I was wrong. I'm going to mess with it just a little bit more. Okay, so we want to start off with some distant trees. Something I've not done this way before. I usually paint them in the background and then I add them. I mean, I paint them in with acrylics and let them dry, <coughs> usually. <coughs> and then I come back and do them with oils. Well, let's try. Let's try some different things. We're going to get a little bit of... Let's put a little bit of ivory black on the palette. Just a, just a little bit. Not a lot. A little bit too carried away. Okay. And then... Um, that should be... I think we got everything else we need. So let's start off with a script liner. Give myself a little bit of room. Hopefully, I won't need too much. Uh, you got a, a little bit of black and a little bit of thick of blue. We'll pull this off to the side, and then we'll put some titanium white in with that. And see what we got. All right, and let's go right here. first tree. Okay. I'm going to add just a little more black to that. But just a little, I mean just a little. Now, just a few of those. Right, I'm going to switch to another script liner, but it's a little wider, this one. Oh, you know what? Before we do that, let's do this. Let's take a little bit of white and a little bit of blue, thalo blue. So 
putting a little bit of bushes and stuff. And then I'm going to lighten that. Okay. That's a little bit of instances, maybe some instances. Some tree limbs back here, maybe. We'll see. Paint. A lot of paint right there, so it's not sticking too good. But I don't want to put any more on it right now, because we'll just try to make do. I think maybe this will show up just fine before we get, we get everything put in here. All right. All right. We're going to build a canopy around the rest of this, so let's get a script liner and we'll get some red and a touch of black. Let's come over here. Probably could have used a wider brush, it might have been easier. Now, as you're moving that script liner, make sure you're turning it, you're twisting it like, like, like this, so that the paint can unload evenly. Actually, this tree, I think, will switch off brushes. It can be easier. Okay. So we'll switch to a filbert. And I'll start since I'm doing smaller trees right now. I use this smaller filbert and see how that and see how that works for me. too much on that one because we're going to as you can see I got a little bit more control I don't have to double, double strike it with the filter Now 
I'll go back to the script liner when I want to um, start adding all the branches and stuff in. But I think right in here, I want to put some more bushes. So let's just kind of some of this, some of that. Too worried about the tree right now. We'll, we'll fix it real quick here in a second. And then let's put Set that aside and use that again in a minute. Let's fix this. All right, let's just do a couple more of those. We'll just end that one right there. Let's put a couple more of these thinner trees. I'll tell you what, before we do that, let's just put some more stuff in here. more of these thinner trees as I was saying. Here. And I want this one to kind of be crooked. Just go up there and disappear. And then And we're, you see, we're using, we're still using the same colors that we've been using all along. But. So this tree is in front of that tree, so this tree could be a little bit farther. Yeah, right there. Okay, now we start working on the big trees.
All right, so we're going to switch over to black. Well, let's see. Let's, do we want to do that yet? No, let's not do that yet. Let's go back and deal with the stuff. Now, the way the paint is currently laying on, on, the, pa on the canvas, you can see that it's kind of like in a slope, and the, the trees would lend you to see that they're kind of in a slope. But we can take this and kind of move it back this way. Now, if, but if we're going to do that, let's do this. Let's just pick up, uh, we got a, a, a round brush. And some white. That's a little too much paint, I think. Let's put a little bit of mist in here like that. Get paint on this brush, so we'll use it to start with, but it's not to brush it, so we'll just use this to trim up these trees. Use this one. This one really needs trimming, really. Alright, let's start putting some bigger trees in. Let's clean this brush because I'm not satisfied with the paint on that brush. I'm satisfied with the paint, I'm just not satisfied. I need to do something big, so I want to put bigger. So I need something larger. Let's use this dude. Okay. Now you might say, why did you Run that whole length up. Because I'm going to put a lot of branches and stuff on here, so I'm not too worried about that. Even though it wasn't laying down enough paint to suit me, it's okay. Okay. And let's put another one. I want this one to be kind of even at the turn. Now realize we're painting over a lot of paint. So there's that. We'll widen that trunk just a little bit on that side and we'll widen the trunk a little bit on this side. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm done with that brush. So now we're going to put some of the semi-large trees in. Those are the two biggest ones, I think. They'll be the two biggest ones, but first I want to put some close-up long ones in here. So let's, first of all, let's fix this tree a little bit. Right. 
Now, if you're getting your trees too straight, I know you might say, what? How can you? No. You know, trees like those are going to turn into telephone poles. So, you know, it, you can't have too many of those in your picture painting. That's so I'm only going to put two. Those big dudes. I may even put another one bigger than that before I'm done, but we'll see. A little bit of tree. No big deal. Okay. Um. Okay. Didn't count an order. Where I want this now. Before we do that though, let's do this. Let's, let's take the fan brush, let's pick up some white, maybe a little bit blue, a little more blue. Let's see how this looks in here. And we're not even picking the brush up, we're just tap tap tapping it right where it is. create this really kind of soft mist all down here on the floor. I kind of want to move that around too because I like right there. Alright, on this side I'm going to come in with this lavender color. Kind of pinkish lavender. That, I'm going to push that tree back 
I think we'll push this tree back just a little bit. There we go. Let's push this one back. I like the back. detail work. Now's the time to turn the screen off and go to the next video because we got a bit of got a bit of it to do. Right. And I think the way I'm gonna try to do this, I'm always trying to learn different things. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of um, clear liquid on mine. I'm gonna switch back and forth with several different brushes. So I want to. I got a bunch of these new brushes and I want to try them out. So. Let's start off with a little bit of like now these these branches don't have to be even connected to trees. Because you, know, you can assume there's other trees in the forest out there. So let's start off with some of these off to the side. And then I'm going to put some more out here. This is kind of this is kind of a nice little brush. Let's paint some skinny trees while we're at it. Now, you may say, "Well, you know, my trees need to be straighter." Probably not. My trees probably need more more crooked. So, if you can get a little wiggle in your arm, that'd be awesome. Put a little bit of white into this mixture. Let's see how that looks. Pick up some of this lavender color.
Yep. I'm usually not one to tell people things to watch out for because I tend to throw all sorts of things. But one of the things to watch out for when you're painting forest scenes in is don't don't forget to put some trees in between your in between your trees because people tend not to do that. It's just all right. Now I got to put them over here. This is the hardest part for me because I'm trying not to block the camera. At the same time, I'm trying to make sure you guys can see. I mean, that's not what I meant to say, but that's okay. That true. That is true. By not blocking the camera, you can still see. But I'm gonna paint this with my right hand. I'm left-handed, but I found that with my right hand, I can be just as groovy as I can with my left hand. <laughs> Let's pull a couple this way. Alright, let's throw a couple extra little squiggly squiggly things in there. We'll, put, we'll move some dark stuff in here in a minute. Now, pull some of this red. Let's pull some of this red in here with this. I'm going to buff this landscape. So, you know, realize that the more things you have in your woods, the more interesting your painting becomes. This brush might be too small for the branch work that I want to do next, but let's start off. Let's just give it a try. We'll see. All right, so I want to come above the, where this arch is. Let's start. It just, I don't want these branches curved too much. I, want them to be, I mean, they can be wiggly, but not curved. Does that make any sense? I don't know. All right, I want to switch to a wider brush for just a minute. All right, so we got got a lot of paint on this brush and a lot of paint on this canvas, so we've added a little bit of medium to this. Wipe this brush off for a second. I'm going to come back to the black. I'm going to pick up a little bit of medium, just black. Though. Let's try this again. I want these branches to be dark. Dark, dark, dark. And I may have to wait for it to dry before I can get that in there. But don't know until you try. a lot of paint there. I don't know if we can get it to stick or not. We may have to wait for it to dry. And since I'm trying to create contrast, that's even more difficult. But... Alright, so let's just go straight black. 
with no anything extra. Alright, yeah, let's discover the personality of some of these other trees. Let's get it So this is an angle brush. I want to lay in some of the larger branches with this guy. Let's see, but I need to go to the back trees first. That looks okay, that looks okay. That's a front tree. That's a front tree. So this is lamp black. Don't put lamp black on your canvas if you want to put anything else over it, because boy, it ain't going to happen. It's so powerful. Let's see how this does. Already, we can see the difference in the depth of the black. Hey everybody, meet my wife. They can't see me. <laughs> Are those upside down? Yeah. Okay. No, the forest is upside I'm down. I'm not crazy. <laughs> well, you're a little bit crazy. But... I was trying to decide if they were upside down trees or whether... No, it's looking, easier for me to paint them. I was them. looking at some sort of a sci-fi thing that they were making them go into the sky. Mm -mm. Did you want something, baby? This tree's in the front, so I'm going to bring another branch off here. I'm still painting with the angle brush. I haven't picked up. I use the angle brush quite a bit in the other types of paintings. So if you're looking at the palette, you just saw me wipe off the wipe the paint off with it out of the brush. So I can continue to paint with it. I'll take the rest of it and paint this tree.
Wiping out the paint. And I'm kind of moving back and forth from one side of the canvas to the other on purpose because I want to I want to randomize this somewhat. And, and it seems to be human nature to kind of make things be symmetrical. I don't really want this to be symmetrical, so I'll try to, try to work with my weakness by Doing things that make it not where I can't just can't do it. All right, let's see how we're doing here. All right, we're getting there. We've got work to do. Let's see, where was that? I saw space. Oh, here it was. Okay, now this tree is in the front of that tree, so these branches have got to be split. Can we do that just by painting through the tree like that? Okay, now we're just about ready to switch back to script liner. I need to paint I need to do something with this side. I need to turn on this side. And <laughs> it's a little hard for me to get it on that side of the pal on the side of the canvas for detail work. So let's just kind of Yeah, so I can straight line that pretty easy, but the question is, can I get some branches in here on it? Let's so again, we're still using the angle brush.
think I'm happy enough with that for now. Maybe. We'll see. Let's sit for a second. Okay. I'm going to work on this path a little bit. I'm going to do this with a one inch brush. A very clean, uh, let's see, a very clean one inch brush. I'll use this one. Yeah, a little bit of this kind of a lavender color right here. And we'll get some black bushes in here. So let's get uh, And it serves two purposes. One, it causes me to add more things to the painting. And two, it uses up the paint. getting close. Let's clean a few brushes here while I think this over. And usually thinking it over, what I'm, I'm trying to think about what, what else could I add? What else would I add? Um, should I add more highlights here or there? Or, you know, things like that. Or not. For instance, let's just kind of. Crazy. Don't want to get too crazy. But we are going to get a little bit crazy because I try to paint something into this painting, into the scene.
Alright. So we got our little spooky, creepy figure here on the side. Who is it? I don't know. Maybe he'll tell me some other day. But he's going to show up in more paintings, I think, as I do landscapes. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you tune in for the next one. Please be sure to like and comment. Um, it really helps my channel out when you do that. It, 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 it doesn't have anything to do with money. It just has everything to do with being able to be seen. Um, if you guys don't like and comment, it, does, it doesn't help the algorithm in, in, the, in YouTube. Anyway, hope you guys have a great day, wherever you are and whatever you're doing, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.